Did you know that long nails can cause your dog discomfort and even lead to foot and leg issues? That's right, nail trimming isn't just about keeping your dog looking sharp, it's about their health and well-being too. Regular nail maintenance is essential for our furry friends. Overgrown nails can lead to a world of pain and damage making everyday activities like walking and playing a struggle. While professional groomers are always there to lend a hand, trimming nails at home is a feasible and rewarding task too. So now that we know why it's crucial to keep our dog's nails in check, let's dive into some tips and tricks on how to do it at home. Before we start, let's gather the necessary tools. You wouldn't want to be caught off guard in the middle of a trim, would you? First up, we have the clippers. These come in two types, scissor and guillotine. Scissor clippers work like regular scissors, while guillotine clippers have a hole where you insert the nail and a blade that slices it when you press the handle. Next, we have the nail grinders. These are electric tools that grind down the nail gradually, which can be less stressful for your dog and reduces the risk of cutting into the quick. Now let's talk about the quick. It's the sensitive part of the nail that can bleed if cut. That's where styptic powder comes in. This is an essential tool to have on hand because it stops bleeding quickly if you accidentally nick the quick. It's always better to be prepared for emergencies, right? Finally, don't forget about a good file. After clipping or grinding, a file helps smooth out any rough edges that could snag on carpets or furniture. With these tools at your disposal, you're now ready to take on your dog's nails. But remember, it's not just about having the right tools, but about using them correctly. Now on to the main event, the nail trimming itself. Don't worry, we'll guide you through it step by step. First things first, find a quiet, well-lit space where both you and your dog can be comfortable. You might want to have treats on hand as well, as they can be a great way to reward your dog's patience and cooperation. Next, gently hold your dog's paw. It's important to create a sense of trust and security, so softly talk to your dog, reassuring them throughout the process. If your dog seems too anxious or stressed, it might be best to try again later or on another day. Now let's talk about the nail clippers. You'll want to hold them at a slight angle, about 45 degrees. This will help you avoid the quick, a sensitive part of the nail that can bleed if cut. If you can see it, the quick usually looks like a darker inner part of the nail. If it's hard to see, especially in dogs with darker nails, just trim a little bit at a time so you're ready to make the cut. Apply gentle pressure with the clippers and swiftly cut the nail. Remember, it's better to make several smaller cuts than one big one. But what if you accidentally cut the quick and your dog's nail starts bleeding? Don't panic, just apply some styptic powder to stop the bleeding. It's a good idea to have this on hand before you start the trimming process. Once you're done with one paw, give your dog a treat and some praise. Then move on to the next paw. Repeat the process until all nails have been trimmed. And there you have it a step-by-step -step guide to trimming your dog's nails at home. Remember, practice makes perfect. Before we wrap up, here are a few extra tips to make nail trimming a breeze. First off, try to start nail trimming early in your dog's life. This helps them get used to the process and it becomes a routine rather than a dreaded event. And remember, it's not a race. Take your time, be gentle, and make sure your furry friend is comfortable. Another useful trick is the use of positive reinforcement. Treats, praises, or a favorite toy can work wonders to keep your dog calm and even excited for nail trimming. This makes the entire process less stressful, both for you and your pet. If you accidentally cut the quick, don't panic, it's a common mishap. Just have some styptic powder on hand to stop the bleeding. And last but not least, be consistent. Regular nail maintenance prevents pain and damage and could save your dog from foot and leg issues in the long run. Remember, nail trimming is a crucial part of your dog's health and hygiene. And if you found these tips helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the Animal Vedic channel for more pet care advice. We'd love to hear your experiences with dog nail trimming, so leave us a comment below.